Like I was just like discombobulated. Previously on. Well, I probably jinxed myself. I hurt my shoulder. It was very eventful. Hey crew, welcome back to my channel for another flight attendant vlog. For those of you who are new, my name is Bridgette. I'm a New York City based flight attendant and long time no see. Um, I took a quick, well, you guys may not think it's quick, but I took a quick hiatus from YouTube because of everything that I had going on. Um, and hopefully by this time we are caught up in vlogs by the time this vlog comes out. Um, but I am at work. I am in a place you guys would never guess because I always say this specific thing. So I want you to pause and comment down below what you think I'm talking about. It's a preference of a type of flight that I don't like working and I'm working one. So comment down below what you think it is. I look rough, please excuse me. It was a long flight, but I am in San Francisco. I worked a West Coast trip and not even that this is a fake two day and it's a red eye at the end another thing that i can't stand but my options were very slim and this trip is actually worth a lot um i did have vlog at home in my usual spot before starting the trip um i'm extremely tired it is For those of you who know military time or the 24 hour clock, 9.06 p.m., which means it is um, after midnight back on the East Coast. The flight was five hours and 38 minutes, very long, and the passengers were well behaved, no problems, uneventful flight, just like we like it. Um, Fun fact, the last time I was in San Francisco was my first year of flying with my current airline and I worked this trip that was worth 24 hours. And for those of you in the airline industry, a three day worth 24 hours is very high time. So um, high time means that it's profitable, it's productive, and it's worth a lot of money. I typically don't work trips like this because it, it are they're killers most of the time like you are flying a lot and that trip was work JFK um, to San Francisco the first day layover and then work San Francisco deadhead San Francisco to LA and then work LA to Atlanta in layover and then I was supposed to do Atlanta to LA and then LA to JFK in one day well the first day was smooth the second day we had a six hour maintenance delay for a hydraulic problem and the last day go home day we had another hydraulic problem with a different plane which ultimately ended us um, timing out um, which basically meant we maxed we went over the maximum amount of hours we could legally work in the day without giving the option to continue on and basically override it or optioning off and not continuing so um as a crew we came to the consensus that we were not going to continue but what was my problem was that i had to go on vacation like a day or two after that and now that meant that we were flying into my off day so I know I'm rambling. That's basically the long, short story of the last time I was in San Francisco. We're going to put out positive vibes and energy that none of that happens tomorrow for us. Like I said, we work the red eye. So I technically, while this is considered a two day on paper, it is a three day because I come back on the third morning. Um, I am exhausted. I don't plan on doing anything on this layover. I don't think I told you that it's a 24 hour layover. 
um other than probably going to find food tomorrow because it was windy and of course i think san francisco is the windy city but i didn't put two and two together when i was packing obviously because i don't come out here regularly other than that i don't have much to say i'll see you guys tomorrow have a good night good morning crew it is a little after eight o'clock west coast time meaning it is what 11 o'clock east coast time and i'm about to get ready to go and get breakfast because while i fake meal prepped um i didn't bring anything for breakfast this is my first trip back from vacation i don't think i said that earlier as you guys can see i have a little tan um so I don't have anything to eat for breakfast and I'm here all day because like I said last night, I'm working the red eye back to New York tonight. Um, now, I don't know what I was thinking when I was packing my clothes. I was just thinking, you know, California warm. That's to tell you that I don't do West Coast and I'm not dressed appropriately. So the place that I picked is 350 feet away, close enough for me that I can just run whether it's across the street next door whatever but i just wanted to show you guys something really quick look how small this sink is now it may not look small because of how close i am but this is to reference the the sink my hand is almost the size of the sink <laughs> The crew member was telling me that the rooms give off London vibes, and to me, to London vibes means small, but he didn't say the sink was small. <laughs> Other than that, that's all I have to tell you right now. I will take you guys with me, even if it's a short walk, just to show you where I go and get something to eat and how the food was, and then we'll be back here because, fun fact, I'm not a napper, but... Because I don't like red eyes, I'm going to have to try and force myself to take a nap so I can be alive and kicking for the flight back tonight. So I want to make sure that I get up early and do everything I need to do um, so I can sleep later. Now, one thing also, I was like, oh, this layover, I'm going to be so productive. I'm going to edit all the videos that I needed to edit. Um, well, I left my external hard drive, my adapter, everything I need to edit is back at home. So no productivity this um layover but i'll figure it out see you in the next clip so baby when you barely hit my life tell me what you want to do i know you see i'm letting go hey guys it's 9 31 um i was supposed to leave a little basically an hour ago but my flight is delayed two hours so hopefully we can make up some time in flight because i have a commuting flight that i've already missed and the next option is very tight and after that i'll be sitting for about five hours until i can get home so cross our fingers i didn't do anything on this layover except be lazy in a slam clicker i'm still trying to get back into the swing of things after my whole covid saga and then going on vacation, so bear with me. But I will see you guys at the airport. Hey, hey, so it is hours later after the end of the two day trip um i didn't speak to you guys as you guys know and i have reiterated multiple times throughout this vlog is that i'm not a red eye person or a west coast transcon person um so this was a little bit tough for me but i did power through um i just wanted to come back and do a quick debriefing of what happened on the flight we had a passenger who was had an odor to them and that can be a sensitive topic to address um, but it was very strong throughout the cabin and there wasn't much we could do um, and you also don't want to embarrass or make someone feel uncomfortable so that was some kind of a tricky thing to deal with 
and then we had a lot of turbulence so it's turbulent we're sitting down and we're buckled up and this passenger is coming um down the aisle and i'm telling him sir sit down sit down and he's ignoring me well you guys know that key and pill skit where um one of them is the flight attendant he's like the seatbelt sign is on and the other one's like but is it the law i'm gonna insert it seatbelt sign is on but is it against the law though the light is on is it against the law but basically as soon as i was like sir you need to sit down like it's turbulent he basically ignored me we went through a rough bout of turbulence and that man was like ping pong and we were like sit down sit down like screaming sit down so he finally sat down we asked him if he was okay he said he was fine but like this is an example if we're giving you instructions please follow them because we have your best interests at heart and we don't want anyone to get hurt and then right after that happened another passenger tried to get up and i'm like sir sit down like i'm literally screaming because we don't need someone else trying to get hurt um other than that I know I told you guys the flight was two hours delayed. Um, I did miss my first connecting flight home, but one tip that I can give commuters or new commuters is that you need to have backup plans, plan A, plan B, plan C, D, E, all the way to Z to ensure that you have options on how to get home. So with the delay, I missed my first commuting flight, but I had a very small time connection time in between the time my trip was releasing and the time the commuting flight was departing and luckily I made it and I got home this morning and when I say I was exhausted like delirious to the point where as soon as I buckled my seatbelt on the commuting flight I was asleep one of the flight attendants woke me up and like I was just like discombobulated I didn't know where I was um, that type of tiredness or fatigue is no joke I, at that point, had been up over 24 hours. Um, so I'm home for three days. I was thinking about picking up a trip, but I need the rest. And that's about it. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay safe and see you soon.